Alrighty, welcome to episode two of how to make a pap camo, finally. It's been a while. Now, this is all about how to actually start editing your own files, your DDS files, to convert back and put into the game as an edited camo, per se. So, what you're going to need is you're going to need Photoshop, obviously. Well, I use Photoshop anyway. I use a <coughs> totally <coughs> legit <coughs> version. Uh, so... There's a download link for my version of Photoshop here. Uh, there'll be a link in the description for you to download it. Uh, it's CS5, so uh, just download that and then uh, to run it, what you got to do is you have to run as administrator and then it'll launch and then it's up. Now. Uh, you're also going to need something else with this. You're going to need a particular plugin, and this goes across all systems. Uh, you need a DDS plugin. So what that allows you to do is it allows Photoshop to read and open uh, .dds files of any kind and allow you to save files properly as a .dds file as well. So this link will be in the description too. A uh, 32 or 64 bit version depending on your Photoshop. You can use your own Photoshop. You don't have to use the legit <clears throat> version of Photoshop I have, but uh, y you can use whatever either one that you want, I guess. So 32 or 64 bit, depending on uh, what you want. Um, if I recall properly, uh, it gives you this whole little installer window and everything to like choose your installation path and everything. I don't remember the proper installation path for this. Uh, if you have a legitimate version of Photoshop, uh, I'm sure there is a link for it. Or it'll auto-detect your Photoshop, sorry, and uh, auto-install it for you. But it's just, it's just going to take some messing around. For this version, what I would do is I would set the installation directory just to your desktop. So you'll have a little dds.8bi file or whatever. And then you just go into app, cs5, plugins, and then what I did is I just copy pasted it in a couple different places where I thought uh, it would uh, work so like file formats dds.api plugins file formats there it is again uh, import export there it is again I just threw it in a bunch of different spots trying to figure out where it would go so uh, you'll know it will work when you open it also, you can see your version right there, minus 32-bit. Uh, you'll be able to uh, open up files, and you'll see this, this NVIDIA DDS read properties, and then just load using default sizes. Ignore that and click OK. And then you'll be able to see it here. And then if you just go File, Save As, you can see you can save it as .dds somewhere in here, and however many times, depending on how much you copy pasta it in what places or whatnot. I have three of them for whatever reason, but this is probably just going to be the most annoying part of trying to get it working because I myself don't know the exact place to put it. So just copy paste it around in your Photoshop file directory. It's not going to mess anything up. It shouldn't anyway. So just mess around with it a little bit and then you'll start seeing the ability to save it as a .dds. And you'd click save on whatever you'd want to save and then there you either want to save it as no alpha or interpolated alpha, depending on whether or not you have an alpha channel on the side here or not. It just kind of depends. And then that would be the proper way to save it, convert it back, and then put it in your game. So now that you have all the f tools necessary to open up any kind of IWI folder or file that is convertible within the game, next episode we'll talk about their purpose and uh, how to make them properly.